Hey guys, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. I'm gonna read um, two verses from Psalm 47. Make music for God, make music. Make music for our King, make music. For God is King of all the earth, make music. O oh, enlightened one. I want you to have a wonderful Shabbat and the Al Jazeera um, the people that watch Al Jazeera are very worried about the coming of Jesus the rapture of the church and I heard someone saying yesterday that if with all the weapons, all the power of war that there is in the world today, there is no actually prophecy. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, the power of destruction, he's saying that the Zionist Christians are bringing upon the Armageddon, are being, uh, people want this. People will fabricate this in their own minds, with their own words, and with the existence of man-made war yes i agree with him uh but the rapture will be the differential so this is a very important moment because with all these things that are happening in israel earthquakes around the united nations at the moment of the security council um a stupid meeting um demanding ceasefire and aid more than the in, in more than they were aid to Gaza, m more than when they were receiving daily before the war. All this God is showing do not touch my people, do not touch my people, but people insist. People insist. So you have earthquakes in the New York area in the moment of that council meeting, the Security Council meeting. You have earthquakes in Iran. You have meteor, meteorites in Iran. God is giving signs in the sky. And he's going to keep doing that. But the big one for the existence of Jesus and the power that Jesus has is going to be the rapture. And it's not going to, it's not going to take too long. It's really not going to take too long. Because um, a few things I agree with him that... Um, I, I believe, he didn't say that, but he says that he believes in the young generation. That's interesting. The young generation that we, in me sometimes, I, you know, I don't have a lot of faith in the millennials. But um, he said that he has hope in the millennials. And I know, this is my opinion, that the old guys will destroy this world. It's not the young people. It's the old guys because they have the, 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 the finger in the buttons to explode this whole world. Um, I will link this interview, this podcast. And um, I will say, yes, it's going to be a showdown. Even the Muslim world is waiting for this manifestation of God. They know the prophecies. They are hearing, they are listening to what the Christians are saying about the, the rapture, about the coming of uh, the, you know, the, the getting out of this planet of a certain group of people. They are listening to all this and they are paying to see. They are mocking. They don't believe it. It's going to be like the Zionist Christian mindset and the, the endless eternal support for Israel. And at the same time, at the same time, um, they know, not they, that would be the Jews in Israel, the Christian Jews, the Messianic Jews in Israel. They know that the so-called Zionist Christian is also anti-Semite. At the same time, they support Israel, but they do not see the Jewish people that don't profess Jesus as very blessed or you know anything to be important because According to them, they were removed so the church can exist. Anyways, it's a very interesting time uh, to be a whatever Christ, Christian Zionist. And 
please do not remove your support from Israel. Do not think that the Jews have no covenant with God because they do have a covenant with God that is eternal. And very interesting these next two or three days um, with all this turmoil and all the things that God is, is speaking clearly, clearly. Uh, do not touch Israel. Do not abandon Israel at this time. And I just think, I just, I just think that Jesus has to get us out of here before everything comes down. That's my hope and my enemy, the Satan, right? The devil that uses many tools. He doesn't want this to happen. He he wants this to be a lie or to be some unfounded belief. So if I believe that Jesus exists, whatever he said, he's going to do. That he prepared for us homes in his kingdom. And he will come and take us out of here. That's the way that, you know, I navigate these days. You have a blessed Shabbat. I don't know if we're going to be here for the next Shabbat, but if we're still here, you know, he's going to still rule and um, enjoy the day. Enjoy whatever you can enjoy in his presence with all these things happening. I love you all. Shalom, Shabbat Shalom.